what you guys got another video here for you this is just a quick update video on the meltdown and uh, spectre uh, bios updates you're going to need to do now we did cover a video here on how to update the windows and how to uh, sort that uh, patch out there uh, but there was bios pending updates that needed to be done but there was no bios updates at that particular time uh, released so there was no point covering that until they released them. But now they're starting to release the BIOS updates to patch Meltdown and Spectre. And you will need to do these, okay? Now, I know a lot of people are not familiar with how to flash their BIOS or update their BIOS. And I have made videos on how to do that. And I will leave the card up the top of the video right now. So you can click on that and it will show you how to flash your BIOS to this uh, patch, okay? Now it's very important that you don't touch the computer any time while you're flashing your BIOS. You just let it do its thing and uh, you should be pretty much okay. Now let's first take a look at the website which I'm going to be talking about here which is Bleeping Computer. There's a long list of motherboard uh, manufacturers here uh, which you can get BIOSes for. So you can read this article here and uh, we've already covered uh, the actual Windows patch. Uh, this is the final part. Uh, where we can patch uh, the BIOS. So for instance, mine is MSI. So I'm going to come down to the MSI area here. This will take you to the website for MSI. So if you have got an MSI motherboard like me, then you would come here and it will tell you all about uh, the BIOS updates that have been released so far. So you can see here the Z370s have been released and you would just click, click on one of these if you've got the Z370 motherboard you pick your motherboard model number it has to be exactly that model if you're doing a different one it won't work okay so make sure you pick the correct model now also here you want to read about the article it will tell you that they are due to release other updates and you can see the X299 series, 200 series, 100 series and the X99 series which is what I've got. So they haven't released these yet but they are going to be releasing these very soon. So it's important that you keep your eye out for these releases okay. So not all of them have been released they are starting to release some of them though. So if you've got a newer system one of the newer systems then you can release those now also they have other ma uh, manufacturer names here like gigabyte they've started to release some stuff as well and if you've got gigabyte motherboard you can come here and read about it okay and they've got some releases here for the very latest stuff and it's obvious they're going to release the latest stuff first because it's the more newer uh, but they will release uh, other stuff as well in the future and you can see here if we look at ace uh, as rock here as well and uh, you can see they've started to release stuff you just click on the download link here if you've got any uh, ASRock motherboards and don't worry if yours is not on the list it will be released uh, very shortly uh, you just have to be patient uh, just keep checking uh, the links here and I will leave the link for this article uh, and this uh, area here so you can click on which one that you have got now another one which is uh, ASUS you'll see here there's some information about it now we've already covered uh, the part here about the Windows update you see me cover that in a previous video and there's a lot of information here you want to keep uh, reading all this stuff because it's very important and this is the operating system patch that you will need to do if you haven't done it already now in my video I did make a bit of a mistake because obviously I only showed Windows 10 because that was the operating system that I was using but I assumed that everyone was uh, knowledgeable enough to understand that if you've got a different operating system, you would need a different patch and you would need to go to the uh, updates and download like I showed you. Uh, but obviously some people were a bit concerned that they didn't understand that. So here is a breakdown of it all. As you can see here, if you've got a different operating system, you will need to download a different update, which is obvious really, to be honest. Um, but as you can see here, Windows 7 right the way through to Windows 10. And even if you're using different versions of Windows 10, for instance, uh, Windows 10 Creators Update is the very latest one, which is version 1709 here. And you've got older versions uh, here, like the Anniversary Edition and so on. If you're using older versions and you've not rolled out to the latest version of Creators Update, why you wouldn't do that, I don't know. If you are using this old version, then upgrade 
uh, to the creators edition you're much more better off and you will get the update here okay now you can see also the explorer 11 and also microsoft edge update here as well we've already covered this in a video and I'll try and leave the card up above uh, the video here if you're not sure about how to do that there. And you can see we've covered all this information already. And that's pretty much it. It's just a quick video to give you a heads up on some of the sites that you can click on here to get your updates for Toshiba, Vio, and you can see Panasonic, LG, Lenovo, Intel. There's loads of different ones here. And what you'll need to do is go there and download. Now you could go directly to there, but I, uh, someone posted this article, and then we, we most uh, most of us were probably reading this to keep updated. And this has been released uh, yesterday, as you can see, January 15, and uh, and I'm updating you with a video. So anyway, that's pretty much it. And you may be saying to yourself, one more thing before I go. You may be saying to yourself, why do I need to update my BIOS? This has been around for about 10 years and uh, no one's hacked me yet. The problem was this information wasn't released uh, to the general public or the internet. No one knew about it, but now it's out in the open and the cat's out the bag, as they would say, uh, all hell will break loose and uh, eventually hackers will start to use this to enter people's computers. And you may be saying to yourself, well, what can happen? What's the worst can happen? Well, they can steal passwords and stuff like that from your uh, from your computers and banking and stuff like that. So you really don't want to do that. So just make sure you patch your BIOSes, guys, okay? It's much better and much safer. And make sure you patch your Windows and get the latest version of Windows updates, okay? Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been helpful to you. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.